We all want to live healthy and having a good diet is a major part of that. But all we tend to hear about is the food that we shouldn't be eating. And when we think about eating a healthy diet, it seems like there just isn't anything out there that we can afford anyway, so what's the point? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over some of the top foods that are not only good for you, but they're delicious and affordable. Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Richardson, a board certified family practice physician. I'd like to welcome you to Family Med, a channel that focuses on giving you practical and accurate medical information to help you and your family. If you think this would be something that's helpful to you, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification button, and follow along with us. One of the biggest problems I see in my practice is an overall lack of understanding on what really makes a healthy diet. It's hard because you have so many different messages out there that are confusing, conflicting, and outright deceiving. You see the packaging that tries to convince you that their food is good for you, but when you learn about it, it really isn't. So instead of talking to you about all the things you can't eat, I'm gonna go over 10 foods that are a delicious part of a healthy diet and they won't break the bank. The one thing that all these foods are gonna have in common is that they'll all help you feel full longer and help curb food cravings. You see, that's the problem with most foods that get you in trouble. All your processed and refined foods that tend to be a big part of your diets just go right through you or they shoot up your sugar levels, making your body dump out a bunch of insulin, which leads to getting more hungry and having more food cravings. If we can find foods that can help you stay full longer and avoid that trap, you're gonna be able to change your diet, eat plenty of good food, not starve, and still be able to lose weight. So the first food that I'm gonna recommend is one that in the past has gotten a bad rap. And these are eggs. We used to think that eggs were bad for you, as they had a lot of cholesterol in them, and that they'd be harmful to your heart. Now, although it is true that eggs do have higher amounts of cholesterol, that doesn't seem to translate into increasing your cholesterol levels in your body and causing the problems that we're worried about. Instead, what we've seen that eggs can actually help promote weight loss and be part of a healthy diet. In a small study, researchers took 21 men and compared the effects of eating eggs or eating a bagel for breakfast and measured their food intake, hunger, and how satisfied they were. They also looked at different hormone levels in the blood. They found that those who had egg instead of the bagel were less hungry, ate less the next meal, and le left more satisfied three hours after breakfast than those who had eaten the bagel. Also, their hormone levels and blood sugar levels were lower. Eggs can be a more affordable and a great part of a healthy diet. The second is oatmeal. Now this should be a staple in all of our homes for many different health benefits. It's a great source of fiber and can really help when you're trying to shed pounds. A study looking at consuming oatmeal for breakfast compared to typical breakfast showed that participants were less hungry after eating oatmeal versus cereal. They also noticed that their food intake for the next meal was less. In this study, both foods had the same calories. It was the higher levels of protein and fiber in the oatmeal that made the difference. Now, in order for this to be good for you, you can't just throw in a bunch of sugar in it or get the instant flavored oatmeal. Instead, throw in some frozen berries on it or use a little natural honey and nuts to add some additional flavor. The third group of foods that you can do wonders in helping you lose weight is adding beans, chickpeas, lentil, and peas into your diet. The great part of these kinds of foods is there's an amazing variety of them. You can find some great recipes, and best of all, they're cheap. These foods are similar to oatmeal and they have a lot of soluble fiber and protein. So that helps slow down digestion and absorption and gives great fuel to the good bacteria in your intestines, and that helps you feel fuller longer. Studies have shown that diets higher in beans and lentils resulted in significantly greater weight loss than those that did not. So go find a great chili recipe and your waistline will thank you for it. The fourth one I'm gonna recommend are apples. Now, I'm not talking about apple juice or apple sauce. I'm talking about good, crisp apple. Eating whole fruits as part of your meals does several things. The higher fiber content makes you feel full more quickly and will stick with you longer. And actually chewing something sends a signal to your brain that you've eaten something substantial and affects your feelings of hunger. Also, an apple at the end of your meal can help satisfy the sweet craving that many of us get after eating. And the best part of all is they're available year round and typically inexpensive compared to other fruits and foods. The fifth food that I'm gonna recommend is chicken. This is likely a staple for many of us. Chicken is a great source of protein. In fact, one chicken breast has up to 27 grams of protein with fewer than 150 calories. To give it an extra boost, spice it up with some cayenne pepper, which in itself helps you burn more calories and feel less hungry. Now, you need to make sure that you cook it in a healthy way. Stick to grilled or baked. Avoid breading it or frying it, and it can be a great food to add to your healthy diet. The sixth food that I'm gonna recommend are cruciferous vegetables. 
These are broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage. These contain a lot of fiber and a ton of needed vitamins and minerals and are just an overall staple to healthy diet. Now combining these with a healthy source of protein like your beans or chicken will provide a substantial lower calorie meal that will help you feel full longer. Now, the seventh group I'm going to recommend are nuts. The best and most common ones will be your almonds, your cashews, walnuts, and pecans. A study showed that those who used almonds as part of their weight loss plan lost significantly more weight than those who didn't. They also had improved cholesterol and blood sugars. They're a great source of protein and fiber and make a great mid-meal snack. They are calorie dense, so you can't overdo it, but in moderate amounts, they're a great addition to your diet. Number eight is a grain called quinoa. Quinoa is an ancient grain that is gonna be similar to rice. You cook it the same way. The benefit from quinoa is that it has more fiber and protein and doesn't affect your blood sugars as much as white rice would. Because of the increased fiber and protein as well, you're gonna feel full more quickly and stay satisfied longer than you would with rice. It does cost a little bit more than plain white rice. However, it is becoming more and more common and more and more affordable. So if you haven't had it, give it a try. Sometimes number nine isn't always affordable, but when you can get it at a good deal, it's a fantastic part of your diet. And these are avocados. This is a unique fruit that is low in carbs and full of healthy fats and fiber. Observational studies have shown that those who ate avocado tended to have more fruits and vegetables in their diet. They ate less and had less problems with conditions such as diabetes and were able to achieve a healthier weight. And finally, number 10 will appeal to our sweet tooths. And this is dark chocolate. We all crave a little something sweet after eating. So pick up a couple squares of dark chocolate after a meal to satisfy that craving. The sugar content is much lower, it's a great source of antioxidants, and can actually help with blood pressure. Now as with anything, moderation is important and you can overdo it, but it can be a great and affordable way to satisfy those sweet cravings. Now this certainly isn't a comprehensive list of healthy foods that are affordable, nor am I claiming that these are the only absolute best over all other kinds of foods. In fact, maybe you have something that you found that we didn't discuss today. So if you did, let us know in the comments below. But hopefully by looking at this list, you can see that there are a lot of things that you can do to have a very fulfilling diet that isn't going to break the bank. Get out there and do some research, plan out those meals and make sure to include some of the foods that we've talked about here. Most of our health problems that we suffer from are directly tied to the food that we eat. Good food is good health. So focus on that and you'll do well. Well, I hope you found this to be helpful. And if you did, please take time to give this video a like and share it with your friends. It helps our channel to grow and reach other people that may need this in their life. And if you haven't done so yet, don't leave without subscribing, hitting that notification button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Well, until next time, this is Family Med with Dr. Richardson. And remember, take care of your body because it's the only one you have.